what? Where have I been? What do you mean, where have I been? I've been down here in the Wicker Bar. Yo, welcome to the Wicker Bar. You know me, I'm the host of this video, Lord Ziggy Blaine, the Duke of the goddamn motherfucking Delridge. It is happy hour. I'm here mixing up a cocktail. It is thirsty, 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 thirsty Thursday. Um, you know, it appears as if summer is kind of starting to wind down here in the great in the great Pacific Northwest. So I was thinking the perfect thing that I needed to do, aside from squeak on my squeaker ball, you know, I'm not really into the uh, PSL, the pumpkin spice, spice latte, or the PSC, the pumpkin spice cocktail. Absolutely disgusting. I'm into, little, I'm into a little bit of apple here. So I've got this dusty, very, very dusty bottle of a uh, cockerel uh, Calvados here. And this, this uh, afternoon, I'm going to whip up. This is a classic cocktail. You know, there's a couple of cocktails that have the ante, the, the ante, the ante kind of theme there. If you know what I'm talking about. This one is called, there's one called Aunt Margaret. This one's called Aunt Emily. This is a classic cocktail. Um, I did, I did peruse the books a little bit. Um, I did find one called the Aunt Jemima. I didn't, I didn't look at that one. Probably had maple syrup, but we don't do the, uh, we don't do the maple syrup cocktails. Um, out of Ted Saucier's um, Bottoms Up, and the um, the Aunt Emily is a courtesy of Sloppy Joe's Bar in Havana, back um, before um, when Cuba was kind of like a uh, spot you'd go if you were a high roller. Um, we are doing a variation on the Aunt Emily, and remember when I read off these uh, these measurements, this is a cocktail for two. To adult adult human beings, that would be um, myself, Blaine. I'm your bartender for this evening, and my lovely assistant, Raelle. She is the camera person um, for this evening. And if you haven't had a chance to, you know, like, subscribe um, to, to to the channel here. You know, we're just we're very humble, humble, low key. You know, kind of public access kind of thing. We're broadcasting live from Seattle, which is in the uh, northwest part of the United States, um, kind of by Canada. Um, and you know we're really looking looking forward to hit, hitting 600 subscribers by the end of the year. You know, if you could help me out, I'd really really appreciate it. The Aunt Emily gin, our cockerel Calvados, our Luxardo um, apricot liqueur. We have a little bit of grenadine. We have a little bit of orange juice, and I'm just gonna probably just go ahead and make this happen. I hope this this isn't too complicated for for um, anybody out there. So we're going to go. Three ounces of our gin. We're using the Plymouth gin this afternoon because it is Thursday. Seem to make a lot of sense. To, only to me. It doesn't necessarily need to make sense to anybody else but myself. Let's get that out of the way. And then we are going to go one and a half ounces of our cockerel Colorado's. I have some other delicious um, Calvados, Apple Jack um, type cocktails I'm going to be making over here over the next couple of weeks. So feel free to come back and join me anytime. I'm going to be here. And, you know, if it's not a fresh video, go back into the catalog. We've got hundreds, hundreds of cocktails we made um, over the past few years. One half ounce of our OJ. This is Minute Maid, made in Florida. One half ounce of our OJ. Make sure I'm still looking up the right thing. Um, one and a half ounces of our Luxardo apricot liqueur, which I just purchased a few weeks ago to do the um, do the uh, Bermuda Rose cocktail. Very delicious. Very very delicious. Three ingredient cocktail. And let's get over here. One quarter ounce of our house-made grenadine. We do make all of our uh, all of our syrups and infusion um, here in house. And I do want to take I want to take one one quick moment <clears throat> to thank everybody. We had a very small, very very small intimate group that um, joined us um, a few weeks back for um, our secret garden cocktail pop-up. Um, once again, very very little bit more more low-key as the weather. Um, you know, kind of uh, 
kind of starts to uh, deteriorate as we move into the fall and winter. We'll be doing the cocktail pop-ups, pop a little bit smaller crowd. Everybody seemed to enjoy themselves. Um, I tried the um, chorizo washed mezcal martini. Uh, not quite. I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to try the. Uh, I'm going to try to wash the chorizo in gin next time. I think that'll be a little bit better. I think there was too many conflicting smoky, smoky elements in the uh, mezcal martini. But anyway, I digress. Well, anyway, thank you very much for supporting us here at the uh, Secret Garden. All right. This is a very, very dainty cocktail. Though I am waiting. One of my... I like people that are engaged. One of my very, very engaged um, Facebook people that um, I like paying attention to is a fellow by the name of Adam Hesher. He goes down to uh, South America, Brazil um, in particular. And he goes down there and goes fishing. But he had uh, purchased me a, uh, a bottle of the local spirits down there. And I'm hoping that he's able to get that to me over here in Seattle. Aunt Emily. Nicely, nice, nice dilution there. Um, Rayo, can you squeeze on over here and join me? Mmm. Okay. That's nice. A little bit of that smoothness. Got a little bite from the um, from the gin and the uh, calvados. So a little smoothness from the apricot. Um, I like that. I like that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And once again, as I've said in the past, if you want to get on the uh, on the email list um, for the secret secret garden, you can message us here through um, YouTube YouTube TV. Um, or through Instagram, you know, Happy Hour at the Wicker Bar, or you can uh, catch up with us on uh, on Facebook as well. Soon we're going to be on Snapchat. Um, what's the one with the ghosts? Is that Snapchat? WhatsApp? Some of the other ones. Um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna figure that out. Um, thank you for joining me, Lord City Blaine, the Duke of the Goddamn Motherfucking Delridge. This was Aunt Emily out of Ted Saucier's Bottoms Up. Um, cocktail book.